a lot of pressure on the shoulders. I see him develop as a fighter. It makes me very, very proud. I knew I wanted to be a boxer myself. That meant a lot to me as a dad. How much does the sport of boxing mean to the Hattons? I mean, well, I can't imagine not having boxing in my in my life. Hence, you know, I'm a you know I'm a trainer now and I manage Campbell and Campbell's you know flying the flag for the Hatton family. Growing up, the response I got about who my dad was was always really positive. Everyone in Manchester loved him and everyone got behind him. I always remained humble, my feet on the ground, you know, I always thanked my fans, you know, for, for the support I got. I never bad-mouthed an opponent and I always did it with a twinkle in my eye with a little bit of a bit of a joke here and there and I think that's exactly what Campbell is and I think people can relate. The second I went in an amateur gym, I knew I wanted to be a boxer myself. He always has been in and around the, the boxing, but again, he's never been pushed towards the boxing. When it got to like a certain, you know, stage in his, his amateur career, you know, me and Matthew discussed, they said, you know what, we think he might have a chance here of going pro professional, you know, it's going to be a, a lot of pressure on the shoulders, a lot of expectation. The first year has been a great learning curve for him. Inside the ring, outside the ring, he's, he's ticked a lot of boxes this year, so I couldn't be, any, couldn't be any happier. When I knocked on his room to pick him up for his fight, I think he hit him all of a sudden, he'd gone a different colour. When Campbell made his ring walk in Gibraltar to Blue Moon, Covid was still happening really, so I could wear my mask and it probably was, wasn't such a bad thing because no one could, uh, I don't think anyone could see me crying. At the time I thought I was really relaxed, but I think it takes knowing how I feel now going into fights and being able to compare it to then, it's night and day, I think down the line it's going to stand me in good stead. He come through though, he, he won the fight, it wasn't his most impressive performance, but he come through and he's still unbeaten. Looking back at the Tottenham Stadium when I boxed there and looking just how full it was when I walked out, I think it was around about 60,000 when, when I was boxing, so it is crazy to think that I've, I've boxed in that sort of in that sort of environment. He sort of like struggled with his performance a little bit. You know, you think to yourself, maybe did we, you know, have we pushed him a little bit too fast, too, too quick? I think he took a little bit unfair stick. For his performance and um, and it affected him really, really hard. He suffered a lot of criticism. It must have been tough, uh, but it really will stand him in good stead. You know, but I used to get a lot of criticism early on in my career, and it took me years to develop a thick skin. You know, you can't please everybody. Not everybody's going to get behind you. But Campbell's being fortunate. He, he's developing that thick skin quite early. To see him scrub himself down, you know what I mean? Go back in the gym, prepare himself physically and mentally. Never mind as a boxer. That was, that meant a lot to me as a dad. We went away to Spain on a quieter show away, all the pressure and, and I put in a career best performance where I got the stoppage and that was really the start of the of the real Campbell Atten. And to work with him on a daily basis and, and see him develop as a fighter, and as a man, it makes me very, you know, very, very proud. My dad and Matt have been there and done it and boxed at the top level, so it does, it gives me a lot of confidence that I've got the best team around me and the advice I've got second to none. All three of us will know when to, to move him up that extra stage and if a title fight comes along, the right chance against the right opponent and all three of us think he's ready, I think the move will be done. Campbell's been going to the MEN watching watching you know some of his idols fight so it's going to be a special special night and again even though he's only six fights into his career he's learned a lot he's you know had to put with some tough experiences he's relaxing more now and uh, I'm expecting him to, to look the business on Saturday. The Manchester Arena was my second home I could have moved my bed in there at one point I was there that many uh, that many times and when I see Campbell coming out to Blue Moon to the ring is always a very special feeling but to do it at the Manchester Arena I think there could be a few more tears on Saturday. I'm hoping to keep improving even more. Like my last two fights have been two career best performances and I'm hoping for the same again this time.